and action. Welcome to the Daydreaming Podcast. Thank you so much for joining us. For all you dog fans out there, we have the sweet story of Lola in The Littlest Hound, a lovable Italian greyhound's tale, written by Cassie and Patrick Garber. And as a special dog treat, today's episode is narrated by none other than Cassie and Patrick themselves. Hope you enjoy! The Littlest Hound, written by Cassie and Patrick Garber. Hello, my dear friend. I'm so glad that you're here. I've been waiting my whole life to chew on your ear. I'm Lola the showgirl, the littlest hound. I'm snuggly and fast. I'm not very round. I'm an Italian greyhound. Perhaps you've heard of my kind. We resemble the greyhound, but much smaller you'll find. They called me the runt as I was such a small critter. It's true. I was born the littlest hound of my litter. In Macon, Georgia, I spent weeks growing strong, but my siblings, they started to leave before long. Then one sunny afternoon, some two-leggers came in. I wanted to be chosen, so I licked the gal on her chin. I heard them both say, yes, she's the one. They carried me outside before my dinner was done. It was happening. I was moving. I was excited and scared. Where to? What now? Would my new house be shared? The first night was rough. One I'll never forget. Things were new. Smells were different. A bit tough for a pet. Then down on the ground, my mom made a soft bed. She pet me and told me I'd be the family's best friend. As days went by, I felt more calm and at ease. We went swimming together, they let me bark at the trees. But things changed one morning. Dad put some clothes in a bag. He talked of a deployment, his duty to defend our flag. My heart sank again, I'd miss him over the miles. But Dad gave me the job to love mom and share smiles. First, I felt grumpy, then confused, then sad. We enrolled in puppy school to help get through missing dad. This twist of emotions, still a break in my heart. We dug deep to find courage and a new routine we did start. My mom took up yoga. We went on long walks. We found moments of joy through cuddles and talks. Then a few months later, I heard the great news. Dad's headed home. Uh, think he'll miss those shoes? Mom scooped me up, and we hopped in the car. Windows down. Woohoo! I knew we couldn't be far. And then we saw him. My heart skipped a beat. He bent down to pet me. I knocked him right off his feet. We were all so excited. We, we were, were together, together at, at last. last. Now we'd have time to make up for the past. Fast forward to now, 14 years have flown by, and our family has grown by eight legs. My, my, my. My hearing is fading, and I can't see anymore, but I'll still find sunshine and cheese if they land on the floor. It's wild, you know, this thing we call life. There will be days filled with uncertainty and nights filled with strife. But keep going, sweet child. Don't run from your fears. Go outside, be a friend, and learn lessons from tears. Don't get discouraged when at the end of your rope, the sun rises each morning and reminds us there's hope. There are so many questions in life you will ask. Solving problems or trusting instincts can be difficult tasks. If you find yourself worrying about the path up ahead, just recall something strong, like your faith or your bed. Had those newlyweds not visited and picked me that day, my life would look differently. That's a fact I can say. When we nurture relationships with our loved ones and pets, we grow memories even the littlest towns won't forget. And though my eyes can't see it, I can tell you it's real. Lead your life with your heart, and and it's it's love love that you'll feel. Thanks for joining us. Cut!